Good morning, it is Thursday the 2nd of July 2020 and welcome to another trip report. This video will be about the intercity that runs between Brussels in Belgium to Luxembourg City in the country of Luxembourg. Um, it's not a high-speed train, um, I'm here in front of the railway station Brussels South. The French name is Brussels Midi, that's not completely the same as South in France. Anyway, I'm here in front of the railway station Brussels South. Um, this is the most international railway station of Brussels and I think even of the Benelux. Um, all high-speed trains that well go to Belgium will call at this railway station. Um, and in Brussels, well, when you change trains to a, from or to an international train in Brussels, you most likely change trains here. The non-high-speed trains, uh, well, most of them also call at um, Brussels Central and Brussels North. Um, and this train that I'm taking today will also call well at Brussels Gare de Luxembourg, which is named after this direction. Anyway, in this video I will feature the railway station of Brussels South, where I'm at right now, explain the station, after that I will show you the trains, and at the end I will give you some views from the train. This is quite a scenic route though, um, it goes through the Ardennes. Anyway, when you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. And of course, give me a thumbs up on YouTube when you like this video. For now, let's roll the intro. I arrived in Brussels with an intercity train from the Netherlands. You can check this video on my channel. This is a picture I took of the European railway map covering this area. The train that I'll be taking today will go from Brussels in the capital of Belgium to Luxembourg, the capital of the country of Luxembourg. As you can see on the green line here on the map, after the railway station of Marlois, this is also marked as a scenic route. And that's definitely true. However, when you take the railway line from Luxembourg to Liège, this is even prettier. But I will make another video on that line soon as well. As this video proves, there are direct trains between Brussels and Luxembourg City. But it happens pretty often when you travel on this line that you have to change trains in Arlon. In Arlon there will be another train that will take you to Luxembourg. When there is a delay on this line, at least that's what my experience is, is that the train that runs between Alon and Luxembourg will wait for the train that comes from Brussels. Of course, trains won't clean the air, but when you travel by train, the environmental impact is a lot less than when you're traveling by car and especially plane. On this route, an airplane is no alternative. So this graph only shows the environmental impact when you're traveling by car or train. This is the railway station of Brussels South. Well, before I show you the interior of this railway station, I will first discover a little bit of what you can find around the station. This is quite a big station, so what you may find around the station might be very different as per exit you take here. For example, at some spots you'll find these bike sharing programs, and near the spot where I film the bikes, you also find this bus station for regional buses. You'll find quite a lot of hotels around this railway station. And some hotels, like the Pullman Hotel over here, are pretty good integrated in the railway station. Well, let's first enter the railway station and from there on I will show you some more things that are around the railway station. From here you'll find lots of high speed trains to France, Germany, the Netherlands and the United Kingdom. TCV trains that do depart here will go to the south of France or Strasbourg. This railway station is also the home of the Thales trains. Literally all Thales trains do call at the railway station of Brussels South and some trains will start or end their service here as well. When you're traveling with the Eurostar to the United Kingdom, you have to go through customs first and this can be done via the channel terminal. Business Premier travelers can use the lounge here as well. You can find the lounge after customs. When you need to change money when you're going to or coming from the UK, you'll find quite a lot of exchange offices right next to the Eurostar terminal. All high-speed tracks are located right next to each other. And because Belgium is a pretty small country, all high-speed trains are international trains as well. When you do have an international train that is listed as intercity, this is not a high-speed train. Just keep this in mind. Near the section where you find the high-speed trains, you also find a ticket counter for international trains. This is actually the biggest ticket counter you can find in this railway station. Although, 
When you're traveling on an international high speed train, I strongly recommend you to buy tickets in advance. The earlier you book, the cheaper it is and last minute trains can even be fully booked. For example, the Thales and the TCV trains do always include a seat reservation. So when there are no seats left anymore, you just can't book a ticket. My train is an international train, but it's not a high speed train. What means it will just depart from the regular section of the railway station. You'll find three underground passages at this railway station, but only the most northern one does host shops, railway facilities, entrance to the metro, etc. The other two are just tunnels under the tracks. I show you them as well in a bit. As you can see, you find lots of screens, vending machines, information points, etc. that will all give route information and where you can go to to ask for information. Here on the right, you will find a ticket counter for domestic train tickets. The advantage of a bilingual city and quite an international railway station is that lots of these information is written in not only Dutch and French, what are the languages of Brussels, but also in English and German. German is another language of Belgium. At both exits on the side of the railway station, you'll find these big screens with route information about departing trains. Here you can see my train listed on this screen. When you rather prefer the old school timetables on paper, you can find them as well. For example, here on display on my left, you find these displays slightly less than the digital departure screens. Throughout the railway station, and especially near the entrance and the exits, you'll find quite a lot of maps of this railway station. The local transport is really good integrated within this railway station. I already showed you a bus stop where mainly regional buses do depart from, but way better integrated in the railway station, you find a bus stop, taxi stand, and this tram stop. Only buses, trams, and metros of the city transport of Brussels will call here. Right below the bus and the tram stop, you'll find the underground. At the underground section, you also find some more trams. And just like at many spots in the railway station, you also find some shops over here. Some entrances and exits of the metro are really good integrated with the station hall. And something that's quite obvious, but I didn't show you pretty well earlier, is that you'll find a lot of shops here as well. Mainly food related, but also some souvenir shops and even some fashion related shops. There are no general first class lounges here. Only for the Thales and the Eurostar you find dedicated first class lounges, but for other trains there are no first class lounges unfortunately. At the side of the railway station you'll find some more facilities and this is also where you find quite a lot of desks for rental car companies. In this section is located in the same length of the tracks so you can't enter the railway tracks from here but you can enter the other tunnels from here that will guide you to the railway tracks. Like I told you earlier on in this video the other tunnels that are linking the railway tracks don't have any other facilities. Of course directions are clearly given just like all over the station and before you enter the platforms you find a screen with information about the next departing train from that platform. At some other spots around the railway station you find more tram stops because this is quite a big station. At some spots in and around the railway station the link between Belgium Comics and the railway has been made as well. Route information is all very good listed before you enter the platform. I think I already showed you quite a lot of this railway station so therefore I think it's also good to go to the platform. Personally I wouldn't say that Brussels South or Brussels Midi is a pretty railway station at all but it's quite an important railway station. At the platform you'll find these big screens with route information about the departing train. At some spots at some platforms you also find these waiting rooms inside. And this is my train coming in that will take me from Brussels to Luxembourg. As you can see, this train is being pulled or pushed by a locomotive and consists of carriages. This train is a nice combination of different type of carriages. But for the carriages you find most, I made a small video for you. So we're almost in Luxembourg now. Um, the last carriage is completely empty. Um, so I can give you a small tour of what you find on most of the second class accommodation in these trains. I will show you all of the other accommodation as well, will be very briefly, but you find these accommodations the most. Let me close the door, so it's a little bit more silence. There's no space for luggage over here. Instead of that, you'll find extra luggage space in the hallway just before you enter the compartments. Here you find a button for the lamps. When you turn off the lamps, there will be a small lamp going on. 
over here. This is to uh, control the volume for the loudspeaker. So, and you find six chairs over here. Um, over there you find a small garbage can table. You find two power outlets, one over there and one over there. Well, like I said, you have like six chairs over here. Um, let me show you. You can recline these chairs really well. I don't have any leg space anymore in this case, but well, you can make it yourself pretty comfortable. The armrests can be put up and down as well. Um, and you can find these headrests you can adjust as well. Um, there are no sunscreens, but you will find curtains. Um, and all, well, there are reading lights for everybody. Uh, that's basically it. I will show the other carriages by the use of a voiceover. Let's go switch back to the voiceover. At the very front or the very back of the train, depending which way you move, you find these wide doors where you can enter the train. These are not meant for passengers, but this means you have some extra space where you can park bikes. This is also where you find the newest part of the second class. You have quite a lot of space for well, your luggage in the overhead luggage racks, but also at some spots between the back ends of some chairs, you can store some luggage. Near the window you will find a table and right under the table you will find a garbage can. At all windows you will find a sunscreen over here and at the end of these open compartments you will find a screen that will provide route information. In this section most chairs are facing each other but you also find some chairs in an airplane or coach composition. The chairs that do come in an airplane or coach composition do have quite a big fold out table, a foot rest and a garbage can can be found at the side of these chairs. A coat hanger can be found above the windows. At this section of the train you also find the toilet for disabled people. Well these toilets are pretty fine, nothing special though. Although you'll find facilities for people traveling in a wheelchair in these trains, these trains don't have barrier free access. So when you're traveling in a wheelchair you need to require assistance at the railway station so someone can help you by entering and exiting the train. Right after the second class carrier that host the driver cabin and the disabled toilet, you find another toilet for, for non-disabled people. This is also where you find a power plug. In these two coaches there are not that many power plugs, but as I showed you on the compartments, you find more power plugs over there. The first class comes in an open coach and hosts a 2 by one configuration. By the way, for this coach and the second class coach, at the end, so over here, you also find a power plug. Most chairs in first class are facing each other and some chairs do come in an airplane or coach composition as well. The previous carriage and this carriage do really look like the trains you can find on the route from Antwerp to Lille for example. I also made a trip report on that train. But over here I found that the chairs in first class can be reclined. As far as I know this is not the case in the other trains that will go for example on the Antwerp Lille route. Or maybe I just didn't look good. Of course over here you find a lot of space for your luggage in the overhead luggage racks. But also between the back ends of some chairs you can store quite a lot of luggage. In first class most chairs are facing each other and some chairs do come just like in second class in this airplane or coach composition. You find a folder table and a foot rest just like in second class. And a garbage can can be found at the side of it. You'll find the reading lights, the chairs can be reclined like I just told you. And all windows do have a sunscreen. Most carriages do host the refurbished six people compartments. But I also found one carriage that hosts these compartments but has not been refurbished yet. In this non-refurbished carriage I also found some extra space for bikes. Taking your bike on this specific route is a very popular thing because this train runs right through the Belgian Ardennes. By the way, you're supposed to hang your bike. So when you hang your bike there will be a lot more space for other people to park their bikes here as well. In second class you'll find another older open carriage. All chairs are facing each other here. And the comfort level is pretty good in this carriage. I really like this. Just like the other open coaches I showed you earlier, you find quite a lot of space in the overhead luggage racks, but also between the back ends of the chairs, you can store quite a lot of luggage. In these trains, you won't find a dining car. And seats can't be reserved for individuals. Only groups can make a seat reservation. 
because you find different kinds of carriages. The toilets are also pretty different per carriage. But in general, my experience is that the toilets here are pretty okay and they were clean, what is most important. Because you'll find some older non-refurbished carriages, at some of these carriages you will dump your, well, thing right at the railway tracks. This train does have quite a lot of stops in Brussels. It will start or terminate at the railway station of Brussels South. It will also call at Brussels Central, Brussels North, from where you have a good connection on the intercity trains from and to the Netherlands. After that it will call at Brussels Schumann and the final call before it will leave Brussels is the station of Brussels Luxembourg. At the railway station of Luxembourg I also noticed that you find other train types on this route. I also have a trip report on this specific train type, so when you want to see the other train type just check my video from Luxembourg to Liège. For the next approximately 2 minutes I'll show you some views on this route from the train. the main station of the main city of Luxembourg, so Luxembourg city in the country of Luxembourg. I hope you like this video. When you like it, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. And well, when you like to see more train related videos, subscribe to my channel. When you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell button so you won't miss anything. See you on my next video.